Hello and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here along the Grand Strand. Thanks again for joining me and I'm really excited today. I'm standing beside Harry Dill and Harry has been uh, building houses in the Myrtle Beach area for 35 years. He's the co-owner of Sterling Homes. Uh, Harry has been a four-time past president of the Ori Georgetown Home Builders Association. You may have seen Harry and his crew working on America's uh, Home Makeover shows, ABC's Home Makeover. He's been on that show three different times, one in New Orleans after Katrina. Uh, he serves on numerous boards, one of which is the executive, he's on the executive board of the uh, South Carolina Home Builders Association and he was even elected in 2009 to the South Carolina Housing Hall of Fame. So whew, I'm out of breath. Uh, this is Harry Dill. Harry, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Greg. Great Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. And you know, I'm getting a lot of questions now about building houses. We're seeing inventory, as you've heard me talk about, shrink uh, every month a little bit here in Myrtle Beach area. So obviously we're seeing some activity here on the building side. So I, I have a few questions to pose for Harry today and hope, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll be some good information for you guys uh, as you watch this blog, this video blog. So Harry, the first question I have for you, first is a statement, 2012 certainly has started off strong with my valued price listing selling quickly. So the question is really, how has the year started off with the new builds, would you say? You know, actually, this is the first year now in several years that I can honestly say that I have a little confidence in the market. I'm cautiously optimistic, I guess you should okay. say. Um, it seems to be recovering somewhat now. Uh, we have more clients coming in the door. We have actually have more more, more uh, product on the market, and we're building a lot more houses right okay. now. So, uh, yeah, like I said, cautiously optimistic. After the last five years, it's, it's, you know, we want to be cautious. Here. Absolutely, absolutely. But it's good to hear some positive news. Uh, what you're what you're saying there. So when we look at indicators, because that's what we try to do is forecast in any business, but we look at indicators. What do you look for as you forecast what this year will look like in terms of the new new builds? Greg, you know, there's several things really that uh, we look at. One, at when, you know, being involved in the Home Builder Association like I am, um, I have the, the privilege of pretty much monthly being able to talk to the local suppliers and the local yeah. builders and all the other builders and everybody. And just hearing what everybody's doing in the market, as opposed to just seeing what we are, you know, what is everybody else seeing? Yeah. Uh, um, one of the other things I look at a lot that people don't think about is actually outside the, har the housing market. But uh, you know, I look at, at how people, you know, it's, it's all about consumer confidence. Yeah. So you know, you don't just look inside your market for consumer confidence. To me, you look outside of your market. And yeah. When you see people start spending a little discretionary funds and, and things like that, you can pretty much depend on that at least consumer confidence is coming back, which is the key to the whole thing recovering. So. Well, I, I think, Harry, I think you nailed it there. When we talk about consumer confidence, we know the majority of our buyers are coming from outside of our market. So if we see that discretionary spending, we know that's a good sign of, of that confidence level, and, and that's what we're looking for. Harry, let me ask you this kind of in closing. When you're, when you're looking, there's a lot of people that are watching this and, and that are asking me, when should I sell my house and build? Is this the time? And what would you tell someone that's on the fence? And even that person that's been in their house for a while and they're looking to, to upgrade and build that dream home, what, what, do you, what do you say to them now? Well, you know, it's a cliche, Greg, but it's a great time to build. I mean, now yeah. truly is a good time to build. Um, labor prices are down typically across the market. Uh, as the market struggles to recover, you have more people coming in the market, and, and, and the, the labor pool is growing, but there's not really enough here to support it all. So, prices are staying down. Okay. Uh, material prices are down, with the exception of a few things, usually related to petroleum products or okay. or something like that. So, I mean, it's you know now is the time to build. I mean, okay. you're going to get your best deal. I mean, these are the best prices. I know we're certainly, you know, getting down as low and tight as we can. And uh, this is the lowest prices I've seen in years. So. Okay, thank you. And when you look at labor materials, extremely low, coupled with you know lot prices are still very affordable, and interest rates have climbed up to a ridiculous four percent, which I know nobody likes. I'm, I'm kidding. We've been spoiled for so long, so it looks like you know now is a wonderful time. In closing, is there is there anything just to add in terms of anything you've seen or? or just feeling in the marketplace right now? 
Well, you know, it's, it's going to be a slow recovery. So everybody doesn't need to look and think. You know, there was a point in time where everybody's values went up so high. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then they came down. And, it, and it's going to be a slow recovery as far as if you're sitting back thinking that your house or your product is going to be worth what it was five years ago here in the next six months, that's not going to happen. Sure, so, sure. You know, it's, it's, it's just it's a great time to build right now. I mean, now is the time to move regardless of, of, of what you're doing. If you want to get that good deal, you need to do it now. That's right. Well, Harry, I tell you, thank you. I've learned a lot, and I know uh, my, my listeners and viewers have learned a lot. So I appreciate you joining me and, and really bringing your experience to the table here and, and sharing some good information for us. So I really do appreciate you. Thanks. Great having you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks again for joining me. Now, I want to mention, check out my next video. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you next three top local designers that are going to be competing in an exciting designer challenge. So don't miss the next uh, video. As always, give me a call on my cell or shoot me an email, and I'll look forward to talking to you real soon. Bye-bye.